Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial here for Project Info List Exporter. Uh, we'll get started by launching our script here in dockable form. Quick overview of the interface. We have our export options, a help and about button, and our main save button. Um, first off, you want to have a project file open of any kind. And go to your export options here. By default, all of our labels are turned off, infos turned off, and our ignore uh, file listing here has everything turned on with the exception of solids, uh, mostly because our solids folder, as we all know, if you work on large, large projects, can have easily over a thousand or more nulls and uh, solids that are included in there. So by default, I have that turned off so it just doesn't clutter the list. Um, you do have the option just to unclick it and turn that back on if you want to export those out if you so choose. Uh, there is an option to export just missing files only just by clicking that and obviously anything unrelated to that gets hidden. Um, you can also export file path and comments for missing files. Some of the file path info just as a heads up if you do use this for missing files don't always have file paths. Uh, as you can see right down here. This particular asset has its file path still intact. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> While this one does not. So you will obviously only get the information that exists. If it doesn't exist, it's not going to show up. So what I have over here also is our file formats for export, which by default is set to a simple text. You also have option for tab delimited and comma delimited CSV. Uh, CSV is most commonly used with like Excel or any other uh, spreadsheet style application. Uh, will help organize your list a little better uh, visually when you have it all printed out. It's a little easier to kind of go over. So let's get started here. We're going to go ahead and just export a list as is with no labels. And we'll do it as a simple text just to show you what we've got here. When you click Save, you're going to see that by default we automatically load our project name and the word asset list. You can completely rename this if you choose. I just did this as a default to kind of simplify things. Save this to the desktop. And we'll open up text edit and find our file. And here you go. Now with all of your exports, every export will have this base header that's right here. And what this is is the project name and the version of After Effects that you are currently using when you exported and the version of your operating system that you're using currently when you exported as well as the day and time that you did the export. And obviously this is our starting of our project assets and then our list of our assets. And you can see that we have our PNG, our audio, our solids folder, all of our solids, and so forth, all the way down. Um, obviously, if you have a massive list, you can see how this can be a little confusing as to trying to find items, uh, discerning what, what are folders, what are not. So that's where the labels come in handy. And I'll give you a quick run through of those. Uh, when using these as well, especially file path, as you can probably tell with a long, long file path, things can get very convoluted in a TXT file. So that's where CSV can be a lot more handy. So I will turn all of these options on. We will keep everything to export. We'll say OK. And we'll save this to our desktop. I'm going to keep it the same name. It's a different extension, so it won't save over that. Let's go over to Excel and let's open that file. Now what you're going to notice too with CSVs is that the columns do not auto size. So you will have to tweak these just a little bit just so you can see all of your information. But you'll notice that it's a lot more organized visually. Uh, you'll see that each column is neatly organized so you can see everything very clearly. Um, since we did use our labels you're gonna see that a legend is now added to the header 
and this will tell you exactly what the comps are labeled with, stills, videos, and so forth. And obviously, you can see missing files are quite easy to spot with these tags like this. And just assigning all of your assets, you can see what's what down the line, as well as your comments that you've made in the project window, and as well as the file paths for files that still have them intact. So that is pretty much it. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. Choose the file format that you want and exactly what you want to export. Um, you can narrow things down here by ignoring also as a side thing here if you want to export just stills you can do it by ignoring everything but stills and so forth if you want comps only folders only uh, or audio and as you click on any of these items uh, also if you decide to ignore everything I have a warning in here uh, just warning you that you can't ignore the entire project otherwise you won't be able to export a file um, but as you click on these you, you'll notice that any irrelevant item gets hidden from sight so you can't choose those options by accident so that's project list uh, excuse me project info list export and uh, hope you guys enjoy it